Hey, what is good? What is good? What is good? Beautiful people. Of course, you know who it is, Dr. Mike. Back again, once again, with another classic, classic video for you guys today. If this is your first time watching the Dr. Mike TV video, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Make sure you hit me up on all my platforms, IG, Facebook, everything. Link in the description area below. As well as make sure uh, you check out the ebooks, man. They are there at your disposal. By all means, please, please, please feel free to get your copy today. Guaranteed best read you'll ever have this year <laughs> for the rest of your life. All right, with that being said, I want to go ahead and get into a more informational video for you guys today. I had a uh, subscriber hit me up and he's like, I really feel like these are topics that would be interesting to the masses and interesting to individuals that watch the channel. So I'm like, you know what? I'll go ahead and tackle these two particular questions in one video. Today, he wanted me to talk about making a video about um, how to find cheap places in Davao to live. And also he was talking about, you know, finding a way to buy cheap property, you know, especially when it deals with uh, living in Davao City. Now, with that being said, that is a hell of a great question. A lot of guys coming into Davao City or anywhere in general, you definitely want to find the best bang for your buck. You don't necessarily want to spend a lot of time living in and out of hotels, especially if you plan on being around for a significant amount of time. So you're going to want to find a place that is very, very cheap, something that is very, very affordable or within your budget. And it doesn't really, uh, you know, take too much out of the uh, pocket you know, while you're trying to enjoy your stay in the Philippines. Now, for my long-term stayers, people who are going to stay for a year or so, you know, I would definitely give this advice to you guys. Um, when it comes to specifically to Davao City, I want to sp speak on that, but there are other websites that may be, um, or other platforms that may be uh, helpful in this respect in reference to uh, different areas. But personally for me, when I was trying to find a place to stay, like I always I like Airbnb. I do like Airbnb, but for me, Airbnb can be rel relatively expensive in reference to just going out, hitting the pavement, walking around the area and looking for those signs that say apartment for rent, uh, rooms for rent. You know, you got to find those signs in those areas and text those numbers and go out there and look. There is nothing better than getting on the beaten path and just knocking it out yourself. There's nothing better. Airbnbs are good for short stays, months, maybe two months at a time. Because then after that, I think it does get relatively expensive, for my taste at least. So with that being said, Airbnbs get you into the country. Hotels get you into the country. But you got to go out there and you got to look for those apartments. Never be afraid to open your mouth and ask people, you know, I'm looking for a cheap apartment that, you know, would be suitable to my, say, to my taste. Do you know anybody renting? Do you know any place I can go to look? And trust me, Filipinos super friendly to help you find exactly what you're looking for. If you have a young lady, she'll definitely be able to point you in the right direction, I am sure. But when it comes to Davao, more specifically, there is a platform that I definitely like to frequent. I don't know why I like this platform. It's a good place to start. I'm not going to say it's the best, but it is definitely a good place to start. It is known as Davao, D-A-V-A-O, online business. That's pretty much it, Davao Online Business. Now, you have different platforms that focus on different things. Sometimes the overall general consensus of Davao Online Business is you go on there, you sell a product. If you have something for sale and you're in the Davao area, oh, you got a new iPhone for sale. Okay, let me reach out to this person and see if they're selling an iPhone, general consensus. But then you have a couple of people that have apartments listed on there for rent. They give you pictures, give you the uh, address location, definitely leave you a number so that you can go there and check it out yourself. I actually like that about online business. Do I always trust it? The only way that you'll know if it's legit is if you go out there and see for yourself. So if you're not willing to go around, walk around and hit the beaten path and keep it moving and trucking and everything like that, Go to Dabao Online Business in the Facebook. It's on Facebook. It's only on Facebook that I know of. And check it out. I think everybody should have a Facebook. I know some people <laughs> say that Facebook is outdated, but here in the Philippines, it's very, very prominent and people use it frequently. You know, not as much as they do in the United States, but definitely having a Facebook account. Check out Davao Online Business. I like it. It's They have different uh, platforms to, for Davao Online Business, dealing with sometimes it's just cars, sometimes it's just this, sometimes it's just that, sometimes it's just gadgets, whatever. But Davao Online Business is definitely a place that I believe, excuse me, okay. 
Davao Online Business is definitely a place to start. It's a good starting point. I like it as a good starting point. Because I've found places online in certain areas and subdivisions. I'm like, wow, I didn't even know that this place even effing existed. So with that being said, that's why Davao Online Business is great. Everybody's posting in there. And I think you could probably find something similar to that effect in Cebu and also in uh, Manila. Wherever you're choosing to live, normally there'll be a platform for you to be able to uh, be able to find a nice cheap place or you know something to help you get started. All right, now if you're in the province, that's different. You may have to take a different tactic, a different approach, but you'll be able to find what you're looking for. Just ask the locals. Trust me, they're willing to help. For some god awful reason, there's always somebody who knows somebody who's renting out something, you know? So it's always good to know. Always good to have good friends and always good to have a uh, link or an acquaintance that could uh, help you out with situations like this. <clears throat> Now, when it comes to finding cheap properties to buy, this is interesting. Of course, this is more so dealing with, uh, you know, of course, when it comes to property, we already know that foreigners cannot own properties outright. And even if you're married, 60-40 split. If you have a condo, it's communal. That's what people are telling me now. But let's say that you're in a relationship and it's a positive one and you're looking to buy property. First things first, let your girl do that, okay? Because the only way you're going to buy property is if you're with a Filipina or you have a Filipina partner. Let your girl do that. Tell her what you're interested in. Hit the beaten path. Get it going. But let your girl answer the questions. Let your girl talk to the person. She can speak the language. You know, when they hear foreigner, you might get foreigner price, all right? Don't even show yourself around when they go meet sometimes, you know, just let it know that, oh, she's buying it for a family member, her mother and father, she was an OFW, whatever. Come up with a good backstory, let her tell her story. It is what it is, and she should be able to get the best price humanly possible. Just make sure she doesn't speak too good of English, because <laughs> sometimes they'll be able to read between the lines like, oh, you ain't from around here, so I'm going to give you the foreigner price anyways. But with, you know, when it comes to like buying properties and stuff like that, first things first, you can look online. There are people selling properties and titles too in Davao online. Um, but these are more so dealing with those little like sub townhouses, like the little small ones, like row houses. It's more so like like there's a place called Decca Homes. There's uh, a lot of places that are set up like this. They're just row houses where the houses are on top of each other. You can go to Davao Online Business and you'll find a lot of people putting out those, uh, putting out that information. And also people selling condos on, on, on Davao Online Business. I mean, you have, sky's the limit, okay? Sky's the limit when it comes to Davao Online Business. But the only thing about that is stuff is not really organized. So you gotta kinda scroll through sometimes to find what you're looking for and you may get tired of scrolling through and you may give up. But it, I do believe that Davao Online Business is a great starting point. This is not a plug. I'm not getting paid for this. Davao Online is a free online business. Excuse me. So it's not like there's any pay for me for shouting it out. <laughs> so I hope, sincerely hope that this video was helpful. I do want to give you guys a place to get started. Again, you're probably not going to find everything that you need on this particular site, but I have found that this is a great place to look. If you want to buy your local newspapers, people put properties for sale in the newspapers. No different than they do in the United States. You can definitely check out the Business Inquiry, uh, Sunstar, you know, places like that, Manila Bulletin. You know, those places definitely do list properties on occasion on people trying to sell stuff like that. But, you know, those guys or those individuals willing to post in the newspaper she would probably have money and they're probably selling properties that may or may not be within your price range so you might want to think about that but if you're selling something for free or if you're just providing the information on a dab out online site you know you might be able to negotiate and get things down to a price in which is satisfactory to your taste Okay, hope that I touched on everything that you guys would want to know about a place to get started. That's all I want to do is I want to help you get started. I can't tell you everything, the ins and outs, because, you know, everybody's taste is different. Everybody's preference is different. But if you look on there and you can be like, you know what, this looks like something I may be interested in renting. Bam, go check it out. This looks like something I may be interested in buying a property in Samal Island. You can buy a whole beach in Samal Island for like <laughs> relatively cheap. But that's another story. But again, guys, you definitely have to look around and never be afraid to ask, okay? Never be afraid to ask. And with that being said, I think I touched on everything that I think you guys may want to know about this video. Check out Davao Online Business. 
I keep saying that a lot and I'm using it because I do believe that it is definitely a site to get started again you got to use your judgment when it comes to purchasing things on that particular site please 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 use your judgment you know some people aren't always there for your best interest with that being said Dr. Mike is out peace